In this video, we will learn how to set up plasma marking in Pronost. First, going to go to settings, and on the importing parts selection, you can see here how it maps the CAD layers to the appropriate tool. So if we have a drawing, a DXF DWG file that has entities on any of these layers, cut, zero, or one, it's going to assign that to the plasma. If we have anything called mark, scribe, or two, it will assign them to the scribe tool or the plasma mark tool if your system is equipped for it. Center mark, punch, and three will be assigned to the plasma center mark, where it will just do a, a dimple to locate a, a drill hole or, or such. If Now, if these layers don't match up with your structure, the way you do drawings, you can simply add anything here. Just put a semicolon and then put in uh, anything, words or letters. So that could be our new layer. Uh, be sure to press the save button. Okay, for the next part, we're going to go, we're going to use the CAD, 2D CAD that comes with uh, ProNest, TurboNest, and NestMaster. But this would be, although the, the way to do it will be a little different if, on your software, but the concept is the same. So we have this simple shape. Um, it's got two circles and a line, and then the, the exterior. We want to cut this hole. We want to make this a, a line, just a plasma mark, plasma etch. And in here, we want a, just a center mark, so just a, a light pierce in the center. So as you can see here, all our layers, um, everything is on the zero layer. If I turn it off, see if you want. So, First thing we need to do, we're going to do a layer called 2, and I like to just change the color just so I can see that. And we're going to do a layer called 3. So now, I click the Select tool, click on here, the layer that's going to go on layer 2. This one is going to go on layer 3. And we save this part. Now we can exit here. We can go back to Pronest. We're going to add parts. Go to CAD and locate the part wherever it is. Okay, and you can see it from our picture up here different colors. See how that circle is now just got a cross cross hatch. The line's blue and this will cut this and cut the shape. So all we do is now is simply assign it to uh, material and then the proper class and we can nest it. Now another thing I want to show you here is if I'm going to delete this, remove this part 